Hi there. Today I'm going to read Walter's Wonderful Web. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined, so one morning he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of a triangle. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a square. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and he started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a rectangle. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and he stretched his legs and he made a taller web in the shape of a diamond. Whoosh, whoosh went the web and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down, he twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Nearly. It wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect circle, and it looked strong. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Oh, poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Oh, Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up, but as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and he set to work. Whoosh went the wind, but it didn't stop Walter or his web, not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight and it was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. So my friends, this is the end of our story. And if you see in his web, there are circles and triangles, squares, diamonds and rectangles. Walter wanted to give up. The wind kept blowing his web down, but he did not give up. So sometimes when we feel like that, we gotta try again, right? Okay, my friends, I will read to you again another day. I hope you love this story. Bye.